Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Funzie versus Irvin. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Funzie, you have opened your case to save your family. You are here to prove your one-month-old baby, Joachim Irvin, is your boyfriend, Mr. Irvin's biological son. You say you and Mr. Irvin have two other children and you plan to have this third child. You blame his sister for stirring up his ridiculous doubts. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Irvin, you say that Miss Funzie confessed to having an affair weeks before you learned of her pregnancy, and you believe that her one-month-old son is not your biological child. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Miss Funzie, you say your relationship is at stake? Yes, Your Honor. Explain. I... My family's on the line. I love Jordan. We've been dating going on seven years and been dating since the 10th grade. And the denying that he has towards my one more old child, Joaquin, which we plan to have together, is causing problems with our relationship. She turned... She did that. She did that to herself. You say she did it to herself? She cheated. How did you find out she cheated? Well, one day I was, um... I couldn't sleep. So here it is, four in the morning. So, um, I seen her sleeping and her phone was right beside her. Some told me to just go through her phone. So I found out that she, um, she spent the night at her friend's house with this other guy. But I came to him and let him know that I cheated on him. After he she found yeah. out, she always going out with her friends. He could never he go, go out with his friends, he, too, uh, also. No, he yes, you, no, yes, he, he do. do. No, he don't. Yes, he do. Hold on. No, she did. Hold on yes. now. Miss Fonzie, Miss Fonzie, hold on now. You said you cheated. How did you end up cheating? I cheated the night of my friend's um, dinner because I had wanted to get revenge for him cheating on me. And then, um, once I see, I talked to the guy and I hooked up with him the night of my friend's dinner. And we had used protection and I had sex with him one time. So you had sex with this man one time? Yes, and I used protection. And you used protection? Yes. If Mr. Irvin had never looked at the phone, if something didn't tell him to look at that phone. Would you have told him about the cheating? Yes, I was gonna come clean to him at the right time because we was already no. going through When was the right time? Because he, he came to me uh, when he, he had told me he cheated and I, I would feel like I should come to him because I cheated. So how soon after you found out she was cheating, confronted her, say like... did you find out she was pregnant? When we went to the mobile um, ultrasound, I wanted to see how many weeks she was and when she came out with the paper, I couldn't understand how, the number of how many weeks she was. Like, like they drew the no-man cursive or something. They drew one week and two days, and you saw the lady hand me the paper off the bus. You parked right outside, and you saw her hand me the paper. I didn't know if she was pregnant by me or someone else, so I People just let it go. By him. Cause you were concerned about the date. Yes. But it should have been on the paperwork. Yeah, it was. I it couldn't was a understand week and two the paperwork days. though. She wrote it, it was simple. I didn't write nothing. That's not my handwriting. The lady sent you on there. Miss Irvin, you're testifying that something was written over the paperwork? She, she didn't even see the paper. Hold on. I'm asking Miss Irvin. I'm asking Miss Irvin. I seen it. Jordan showed me the paperwork. She scribbled Jordan, you over saw her it. Paperwork? She scribbled over it and wrote what she wanted on the paperwork. What was on the line that talked about how, how many weeks along? I couldn't tell because she wrote over it. She what was written over, over it? it? Just like a scribble. A scribble of what? I couldn't tell what number it was. So you can't even read what was written over what I'm it. Saying. No, ma'am. I had doubts, like, why, why I can't understand the right? And so I'm, I'm thinking in my head that she trying to cover up that she pregnant by somebody else. Throughout the pregnancy, are you there for Miss yes. Funzie? Are you participating in the appointment? He wants to ever birth or to sign. Yeah, I went to every nine appointment. Child. I was even there when she had the baby. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes. You did. Yes. And you signed the birth certificate even though you had doubt. Why? Because I had... I wasn't sure whether he was mine or not, and I wanted to do the right thing by it because I was there, so I just signed the birth certificate like I did my other two sons. I truly understand your sentiment and that it comes from a good place. You do understand that that's a bad decision when you have paternity doubt. I told him that. If you got doubts, don't sign that birth certificate because whether that's your child or not, you're gonna have... That's acknowledging, hey, I'm gonna be there for this child for 18 years. That's my child. Yes, you, it you, is. You An acknowledgement that, of paternity. Yeah. yeah. So, Miss Fonzie, I want to understand. You admitted to this affair. You said it was once. We got past it. We went on to try to plan and have our baby. Yes. Do you have any doubt? No, I don't have any doubt because they look alike in, um... 
They all have knock knees just like Jordan. You even uh, submitted evidence to the court, right, about the knock knees. You feel yes. like they got the same? Yes. Knock knees. Oh, they're... Okay. <laughs> all the other kids, they say they all got the same knees and the same body shape, and you say Joaquin got the same thing. Yes, Your Honor. And you believe these knock knees are hereditary and the body shape is an indication that this is the same thing. His child. Yes. You knew from the knees. She told me she had uh, lotion to shine them knees up, Mr. Irvin. I hope. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you know, we keep the we keep our little Vaseline on them knees. Little (laughs) knees looking a little ashy. (laughs) If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. We wanted to help you understand whether knock knees are truly hereditary, if this could be any indication as to whether or not Mr. Irvin is or is not Joaquin's biological father. So we are calling on a medical expert. Jerome, can you please escort Dr. Eddie Richardson into the courtroom? Yes. Thank you. Hello, doctor. Hey, good afternoon. You're going to go right up to the witness stand next to the judge. Watch yourself going up the steps. Dr. Richardson, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, ma'am. Sir, I'd like to know from you, can you explain what knock knees are and if they are a genetic trait? I certainly can, Your Honor. Uh, Yes, knock knees, it is when the knees point in toward each other and more technically, when someone stands straight up, and there's about a three-inch gap between their ankles, and they can't put their legs together, but their knees are together. Kids go through this as they're born. They actually do ha- can have bow legs and then go into knock knees, and then they straighten up by the time they're six to eight years old. In your expert opinion, do you believe this minor child carries that trait? I would say, in my expert opinion, it would be very difficult to determine this at this age. Okay. Knowing that the variants happen in children less than six years old. So, Ms. Fonzie, as you listen to Dr. Richardson's testimony, does that change your belief? Y'all understand what he's talking about, but it's still... They all have knock knees. Have you ever told this other man that he is the biological father? No, Your Honor, I haven't talked to him since the day that I cheated on Jordan with him. All right. So, in this courtroom, we get to the truth. So, this courtroom has tracked down this other man. He has submitted a statement to the court. It says, we eventually got each other's phone numbers and started texting. She told me about the things that was going on between her and Jordan. The first time me and her had sex, she came over and saw me. We had sex in Jordan's car. That's, that's a, that's and a did lie. use Somebody protection. Fake page. That's, that's you, you, you said Jordan, that's a lie. You know that's that. Hold on. Said. Let I, me I finish the that statement. No, Let me finish no, the no. statement. Come on, ain't lying, Jordan. Why is you lying to me, Jordan? I'm not lying to you. Man, if this not my baby, I'm through with this relationship. That, okay, that that's it. fine. That's fine. Is that on it? No Let me finish the statement. We had sex in Jordan's car and did That's use what, protection. What they tell him. We kept sleeping with each other three to four times after that with no con. <laughs> this was between the months of October 2017 and November 2017. Miss Funzy, I'll let you respond now. That don't even make sense. They say November 2017. I I'm locked in my October. Okay, bro. Yeah. I used to work. I used to work every day. I never keep my it. car every day. No, you. Oh, I, right. I worked at the school. I never use my daddy car every day. My daddy just died. Yeah, I didn't July. use your car. I, mean, I didn't use that car. car. And I let you keep my car he every day while I go to work. And this what you okay. need, Jordan? Why is you lying to me, Jordan? I'm, I'm not lying to you. Yes. So hold on. When was Joaquin born? He was born June June the 20th. He was born June the 20th, 2018. June 20th, 2018. So, if your relationship with this other man was in October or November... It was in November. Well, that would have been a seven-month pregnancy. Ms. Funzie, is there something that you just need to tell the court and be honest about? It's gonna tell the truth. So, was it just a one-night stand? No. Or did you have sex with this other man more than one time? Yes or no? 
I'm sorry? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, it was more than one time or it was a one-night stand? It was more than one time. <gasps> you go get okay. it. You lied. You lied to me. Listen, let her explain it. She's telling the truth now. She's getting to the place where she's ready to talk about this and this is good because this is what's going to clear the air. What was your relationship like with this other man? It, it was just like, uh, um, I just wanted to give revenge. I was just, that's what, the reason why I had sex with him more than one time, but it's like, it ain't no relationship. Is it true that the first time you used a condom and then the other couple of times or few times, you did not? Yes, we used condom all the time. I saw you, Miss Irvin, you started to cry. What made you so upset? Because it, they've been together for so long. Just be honest. Hey, I messed up. I messed up. That's it. It's up to Jordan to accept it, whether it's his child or not. Your name on the birth certificate, why not? I ain't gonna question her motherhood. She a good mother to her children. My thing is, be honest. I did it. I messed up. <laughs> That's it. I messed up. She wouldn't be the first, and she most no. certainly wouldn't be the last. Sure not. I want to give you the opportunity to just be honest if there's something else you haven't said. Were all of the times you had sex with this other gentleman protected? Did this sexual relationship extend on a little further than what it you were no saying? It wasn't no further than November. It, it was all the time before Jordan called me cheat. When he called me cheat, I, I wasn't see her talking to him. You knew to block him, because you knew I was going to catch you every day. You, you was right there when I blocked him. You, you got his you phone number. You, you been texting him on your phone, too? You had females in the house well, also. This ain't about me. Yes, it's it about is. You, you cheat on me, not cheating on you. Bet you just a baby involved. You. That's you the only difference. Hold, 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 yes, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You let me break up with me. Listen, listen, listen. It doesn't matter. Miss Funzi, we lose that game. We lose that. I don't understand when women are going to ever get this. We need a Facebook post about this. Tit for tat, sexual revenge. We don't win that game. And we do this tit for tat thing and we lose because we end up pregnant. And this can't all be for revenge. I mean, we, we can't be here with a one-month-old baby, beautiful, innocent baby whose paternity is in question. Was the revenge worth this? No. Right. What are your hopes, Mr. Irvin? What are you hoping for today? Do you hope this beautiful baby is your biological child? Yes, I'm hoping he's mine for my son's sake. And if he is not? If he's not, I'm gonna be done with this relationship for good. I'm ready to get the result. Jerome. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Funzie versus Irvin, pertaining to whether Mr. Irvin or Mr. Winfield is the father of one month old Joaquin Irvin. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Winfield. Mm. I know what I told you. I knew it wasn't his baby. Oh, Jordan, when Jordan, Jordan, went to the hospital and told that baby, she knew no, it wasn't. No, no, a mother Irvin. know they child. Down, down, a mother know they child, child. My mama went to the hospital when she had that baby and said, that is not my son's child. Listen. You wrong, you wrong. Just how I'm wrong. wrong. Because you wanted to, you you wanted to have a baby without him. Because you cheated without protection. You lied, you lied about everything. So let's get some order. If you gonna cheat, you don't protection. Let's get some order. Let's get some order. You get what you want. He gonna put me out y'all. He gonna move y'all. No, no, he gonna move oh. Let's oh. get some ma order. Ma 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 you gotta stop. Ladies, you need ladies, to down, ladies. Okay? Listen. Take a deep breath. We've arrived in the present with the truth. Mr. Irvin is not his biological father. Mr. Winfield is. That is the truth. It disgusts me that we get to this point in time and nobody's talking about how will we approach this other man and let him know he's the father, there's no, I apologize. I, I truly thought, I mean, there's nothing but arguing back and forth and it's just unnecessary. You have two other children together and a beautiful family you've made. The moment she decided she was gonna try to play your game better than you, she lost. And this baby loses. 
because now this family is in jeopardy because of this. So now your child father is Mr. Winfield. Mr. Irvin, you are the legal father. You signed that birth certificate. Good intentions, bad result. There's no guarantee that the court is going to take you off that birth certificate. He's one month old. If it's your intention, I would get after it quickly in a court of law in your home state. So you all got some things to work through. I want you to go talk to Dr. Jeff and I want you to start doing it because you still have other children together. I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to live, live my life without her. I don't want to deal with okay, her no that's more. that's fine. I got to take her out there, my kids. You don't got listen, to. Listen, it's okay. listen, listen. I listen. take her my kids Mr. Mr. Irvin, Mr. Irvin, no you may, no, listen, Mr. Irvin, you may not be ready now. You got children together and it's not going to unravel itself. You're going to have to do some work to make sure the children are protected. I want you to do that. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned.